Hi everyone, Master Hila here coming to you guys again with a quick teaching message. We're going to talk about soul ties um, today. Um, what is soul ties, you know? Um, well, in some spiritual belief system, um, a soul tie is an emotional connection between two people. Um, especially when coming to, to love. You know, most of the time is either um, true friendship. It could either be like you guys could have been friends for years. You could have been school friends. And I mean, in kindergarten, you guys grew up together. Um, you guys have that connection. And um, all those are, are um, soul ties also too. And I mean, you guys have that, that, that bond, you know, best friends and things like that. Same thing also too when coming to relationships, you know. Um, from a positive side, um, you guys happen to, to disconnect. Then maybe later on, you guys might realize that you guys might be um, positive matches astrology-wise or something like that. Your moon, your rising, your different things might pair up in the opposite direction. So that makes you guys um, tend to have, um, have a solid um, soul tie relationship. Then the negative side of, of soul ties for some people is like whenever you're going through a breakup, and one person uh, uh, who going through the breakup cannot get over the other person. Sometimes, some people can bind some people um, spiritually, um, tie them together from a spiritual perspective. Um, you see that a lot goes on um, in Latin America countries, you see that going on in the continent and, and Caribbean, and mostly like down south and um, in the Carolina areas and New Orleans and certain areas and, and the Florida area, New York. A lot of people do these types of work also to, to, um, to force certain people um, for marriage and different things like that. That's why I try to tell people, um, my ladies, a lot of ladies out here to be careful, especially when you're dating foreign men. Not all foreign men are bad, but you have to pay attention to, in particular for some because they can bind you um, and force you into, um, into a relationship. And then they, they might end up using you and leave you in shambles and then is you um, tied to that person and then you, you, your whole life turned upside it down and then you might have to find someone spiritual in order for you to break that soul ties um, from that person because that person had no good intention. That person could have um, tried to use you to get a green card or, or something like that or to scam you out of money or something like that. So we have to be careful ladies out here when coming to dealing with, 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 with different men and even women too, as men too, um, you guys have to be careful um, with certain women also too. So it's not just, it's both sides, you know. You have people who will scam you and use you and leave you in shambles on both sides. So, and also too, um, our next thing when coming to soul ties, you can be tied to like an area you grew up in also too. You can't get over that area. You're still thinking about it. Um, you know, school friends, different things like that. You know, just relationship, co-workers, all those are um, soul ties in some type of way. You know what I mean? You guys might have been working together for like 15 years, 20 years, so you guys have a bond. So you guys are tied to each other in some type of way over the years and friendship and birthdays and different things like that. So the same way when coming to relationship, when coming to um, soul ties, you know, and is a negative and a positive um, side when, when coming to that. So when coming to um, breaking soul ties now, that is where I comes in now, the spiritual healing master healer comes in. Um, to cut those um, um, soul ties that you can't get over um, from a relationship. Because some people, it be very difficult, but I have a system that I created, as long as you are able to be disciplined, you have your resources, you're humble, and you'll be able to follow instructions, you'll be able to break those soul ties um, very easily. So those are some of the things that um, quick, um, um, we'll talk about um, soul ties. And we're gonna go into our soul tie series um, every week I will try to drop like a different soul tie. So this will be soul ties, um, soul tie um, um, part one, the first one. And then we're going to go into um, maybe the following week. I will drop our next one um, also too about different types of soul ties because um, I don't want to give out too much information because you now people are always stealing people's content in different um, um, different ways and, and forms and fashion. Because people, you drop something now, somebody will come on a bigger platform and, and things like that. That's why a lot of things I don't predict and I don't see so much because a lot of people out here don't really have no gift and all that stuff and fronting like if they have gift, but they be stealing people readings and stuff like that now. You understand? You can't stop people, but some people are just bold with it, but they can only go after the ones that who that who you know and who you're seeing who's bold 
with it. You know, you can go after them now. But you have some of them that um, might be stealing um, your content. They might be in a different country and they might not really know the real name. They might be hiding behind a fake profile. So then you have to um, do something a little different. All right. But uh, it's just life, you know, but you just have to be careful. So, guys, when coming to Soul Ties, if you feel that like, um, you feel that like you can't get over ex, um, a lover or ex-husband or something like that or someone passed away and you're still grieving um, for the person all that kind of stuff all those are different types of soul ties that you're still connected to that person and you need to, to, um, to release um, those persons so it's a spiritual component to that in order for me to um, in order for me to, to help you guys move forward and um, get out of that cut that soul ties from that person whether the person was a bad person or whether the person had passed away was a good person the person passed away it's still tied to that person some people can't move on um especially the the, uh, the most difficult signs when coming to moving on when coming to soul ties for me from my 30 years um experience part-time six years the last six years full-time doing um spiritual work i would say when coming to um the most difficult when coming to um these signs i would say the most difficult um i would say pisces um at times Cancer is one of the most toughest uh, when coming to moving on. Um, I would say Scorpio, Scorpio, oh, Scorpio is, is very, very, very tough um, when coming to moving on from a, a, um, soul ties. Even Libras also too, especially the females, you know. Some men, um, again, but Libra females, if they go through a bad breakup, they can hold on, hold on, hold on, um, followed by Scorpio also too. Um, Capricorn also too is the next sign. I find that um, over the 36 years, um, they too just hold on. Um, um, relationship like that. So those are some of the few signs that to me, from my experience, I um, noticed when coming to soul ties, they, they, they take longer to move on. So I hope this makes sense, guys. And look out for the soul ties series moving forward. You'll hear more from me, okay? Peace, love, and blessing. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Bye.